Hi, welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Okay, the last few days I haven't had any internet. So I sort of really wanted to sort of get back um, recording a couple of videos and show you sort of what's come in. Now I just realized I didn't light my incense. So that's cool. You can sort of see what I'm doing and just want to grab a couple of, um, just move the table out of the way so I can grab a, can a candle. There we are, bring that back into play here. <sighs> Take a moment to take a breath. Finally got um, internet back on um, track. Oops, drop. Right, incense lit, candle on. Okay, so let you know what arrived. Exciting. I'm going to start with very first business cards arrived. Just cool. Now I've kept it really simple, really plain, because things change over time. So, you know, like my banners or whatever. So I just wanted to sort of keep it really simple who I was, um, business name, uh, what I do, basically. Oh, God, wrong glasses. I picked up my sunglasses instead of my reading glasses. So yeah, so basically Paula Devine, Cartes Crossing, Tarot Readings, Assorted Healing Modalities, and phone number and email address. So really excited with that coming in from Vistaprint. So exciting. Now the other thing that actually arrived was the Occult Tarot by Travis McHenry. Now I haven't done anything the last few days. Uh, except take a couple of photos to show that I got it in. Now the box is gorgeous. The book looks great. Um, there's not a lot of information in regards to actual tarot meanings or anything like that. It's more about um, basically just a really quick um, occult demon type energy it does explain a lot about how to use the cards um, how to prepare it does talk about the king solomon and the demons preparation and offerings calendar of summoning using the different you know, ways to use the occult tarot i mean it does talk about being um very mindful of your practice um, when you're questioned, it does give you a, a, Celtic, cross, a Celtic cross spread, which is um, just, it's the only one it sort of shows there. So it does talk about having respect of the cards, the way you use them, um, connecting with the six rulers, and then the 72 demons. So yeah, it does show you, you know, it does have quite a bit. There is a difference between the six rulers with your red. Um, sorry, with the red writing at the top. Don't know if you can see that. It's not very clear. Ooh. That sounds bad. So let's hope. Or maybe it's the tea light. Okay, so, oh no, I think it's the sun from outside. Just so let's see. The images. Okay, so we start with, uh, what I've done is I've actually, um, that's the back of the cards, the red gilding on the side, which is gorgeous. And what I've done is I've actually put them into tarot order. I didn't put them into like the six rulers and then the 72 demons. I didn't do it in like their numbers. It said I just put it in the tarot. So we start with the full. The magician. And you've got quite a lot on the card. Like there is quite a lot of um, this, the 
um, meanings at the bottom. There's a lot of Hebrew stuff. There's the you know the angel stuff. So there's a lot of stuff um, actually on the card. So there's quite a bit to sort of look at these cards and learn from them. So yeah, really pleased with getting this deck in. As you can see, Lucifer, Crowsell. So there's a lot of ones that I haven't heard of, which I'm going to enjoy. Seem like they're being like the parchments. Damaged ones in there. See, I haven't used this deck. Totally unboxed and put it to one side. There are a few cards that are not 100%, but it does give it a sort of a, <coughs> a used feel to it. And being in New Zealand, I'm going to be not so. Um, Unless something was totally damaged. But yeah, no, I'm, I do like the um, the cards. I like the energy, the vibration. It really sort of, to me, is very much about the shadow side of um, working with the energy. A very sort of a deep within oneself allowing you to really sort of look within for me it's very much about looking within I feel like this is a very looking at the shadow side of the mess of the tarot cards this to me is very shadow side so that's the cards there so let's have a look at what message are we going to share today oh okay so straight away the definitely feels like there's a need for balance I feel like everything's feeling very chaotic at the moment it does feel like the energy um, in, reg in regards to relationships feel very unbalanced at this time um, it does feel like there is a lack of celebration in the way that you're moving ahead. It does feel like there's a lack of celebration in what's going on with the lack of balance. Um, here I get a sense of, yeah, it just feels like you're not nurturing self, you're not nurturing others. Um, it's interesting here because I'm sort of getting like teaches all sciences, performs wonderful poetry. I just feel like there's a lack of that romance. I just don't feel like there's the the knowledge is not there. It's not the um, you know the, the ability to nurture self in many ways. Um, maybe not feeling like you have the excellence that you need. Um, to perform in the way that you need to, which is quite important. So what else do we get here? Here we get the sense of, um, okay, it does talk about the past. I feel like there's a lot of trials. I feel like there's a lot of um, stuff that's been influenced from the past, the present, and what may lie ahead for you. And I feel like that's emotionally affecting you in many levels so it's interesting to sort of try and bring that back into finding a way to sort of celebrate who you are allowing yourself the sense of nurturing you in many in many ways finding a way to to find us find a sense of who you are as an individual I feel like the earth definitely feel like there's a lack of balance a lack of love in some way and you're needing to find a way to 
to find that inner love within oneself to reconcile who you are as an individual. So that's an interesting message coming through with the cards. It feels like there's a lot of work. Um, it does feel like there's a bit of an uphill battle to some of it as well in the way that the cards are coming through in what's going on for you. But it's possible. It's definitely possible um, to ask for some help, to ask for someone to help with the nurturing, to support you in some way as well. Anyway, so that's it from me with the um, Occult Tarot by Travis McHenry. Um, now I've got both sets, the Angel Tarot and the Occult, that I can work together, which I'll show you in another video. So don't forget to check the link below, check the links on my channel, like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and bless it be.